What's up guys and girls, it's your boy The Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to the Epi Banger video. And today, guys and girls, we're doing some cast testing. Sweet, first fish on the test roll. Let's go. There we go, guys. Another fish. First fish of the day. In one hour. testing at my local park as usual with the new Cast King Kestrel Elite BFS. So I got this reel yesterday uh, in the mail from Cast King from over in China actually. And I'm hoping to do, actually do a good test run of it. I got to make my video of the unboxing. I broke it down thoroughly. I really checked it out and I'm really excited to see what this reel can do. So right now we're starting out with a Chatterbait Micro Z-Man Chatterbait. It's a 1 16th ounce head. We are gonna try a few different lures today. I promise to check out more around that one to four gram range because that's really what i think the cash king cash is going to excel at i think it's going to excel from one two maybe even six grams even on the higher end so i actually did bring this today so this is right here is a range finder shout out to my dad for bringing over my bow from jacksonville but i'm be actually che like checking the yardage because one of the biggest things that i've seen so far is that people Never believe me whenever I say my distances. So I'm going to actually show you guys, or at least check it myself and tell you the exact measurement on a rangefinder. So we're definitely going to be testing it thoroughly today. So what I do have the Cast King Kestrel spooled up with today is going to be six pound 8X finesse Cast King braid with a with the six pound leader from Verivis uh, Saltwater Light Game series. I'm going to be testing it pretty thoroughly, checking out what can this reel really do as far as the range of one to four grams. Let's get everything wrapped up, ready to go, and I'll see you guys out on the water. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take the first cast. Let's set this up at five, uh, four and a half. Let's set it up at four and a half really quick, and let's see how it will do. So four and a half will probably be about, it would be a nine on other braking dials. Like say it would be a nine on Daiwa. Let's see how this performs. I like tried to launch that too. That casted actually really far. I'm not going to lie. That casted pretty far. So I'm going to just check that out on the range finder really quick since that was the first cast. I can't find a equivalent distance. So I have to find an object to do it on. I want to say it was about roughly 16 to 17 yards. So that would be about roughly uh 45 ish feet 40 like 50 ish uh not sure exactly but we definitely can go down on the brakes so we're gonna bump that all the way down to 3.0 and see i mean wow that is casting really well surprisingly better than i thought it would i will not lie to you wow oh i just got hit nice Apparently you got your good luck right now. Fish ne here never want chatter baits. So that actually casted one incredibly flat. That casted seriously so flat. Oh, I just got bit again. Good Lord, there's a school of fish right there. They're lagging the chatter bait today, apparently. That was a really flat casting and I barely thumbed it at all. I mean, it casts like really flat, like there's no, going up in the air and then falling down like i do experience with my daiwa bait casters and the daiwa air system uh so i mean so far that's pretty good i feel like i can still go lower on the brake dial which is technically we're still at six i comfortably cast my daiwa alphas air with this exact same lure at four and we're currently at number six which is three on here so we're gonna go down down to four and test it wait no one, two, three, four. Okay, so four is actually like two and a half. I don't really, I can't really tell. Wow. I barely had to break that. I barely had to break that. And so I'm just gonna show you something. That right there, that distance is about equivalent is that birdhouse over there. I'm gonna range finder the birdhouse birdhouse is 20 yards easily so that means that i cast at 60 feet without a problem so that is good i mean that's good so far because like that's kind of what i've expected out of this reel so i will say 
it is a little heavy on the braking, but that is okay. I personally think that's perfectly okay, especially because I'm casting what I would consider to be a pretty light lure. This is a almost three gram lure. So that is not insane to hear for that, so. Wow, I'm literally not even having a thumb at it all, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but also not necessarily a bad thing in my opinion. I will say that this reel feels like nothing in my hands. I just wanna point that out really quick. Like literally it feels so light and I'm also kind of in love with these knobs. Like I'm kind of messing with these knobs hard right now. It just feels smooth. I mean, it feels incredibly smooth. I mean, like, I, I, I do want to say that this reel feels, I know most people will not agree with me. This reel feels on par with an Alphys Air. I know I'm just going to sound like a Casking fanboy when I say that, but I don't care. I, I genuinely do not care because this reel is very, oh, oh, I just got bit again. Oh, I just got bit again. I'm getting slammed right now. And they are wanting to chatterbait. What else? Oh, I've never used this color of baby shed on the chatterbait too. So this is what I keep getting bitten on, guys. This lure weighs about roughly a little under three grams, I want to say. Uh, okay, so I am now on one, just in front of one right now, with a little, about half the spool field of the casking six pound. And now I'm starting to experience over, over on in the reel. That's because I literally did not thumb it at all. So now I have to start thumbing it about two or three notches up on the minimum. So that tells me it is slightly over break. But I mean, it is, it is such a flat casting reel. While things feel obviously a little over breaked, the issue feels easily solved by replacement bearings or even cleaning bearings. This reel is flat out performance with zero cleaning of the bearings, zero new bearings, zero anything. This reel, I literally spooled it up right out of the box and started using it. And literally that took no effort right there. That was easily 18 yards right there. Super easy cast, very comfortable. I'm absolutely loving it. But I genuinely do think that, yeah, it's a little overbraked. I will agree with that conclusion, but I don't think it's not a, I don't think it's a bad thing. I would rather my BFS reel out of the box be over braked than under braked or even like, I don't know how to explain it, maybe moving too fast. It, it just feels better this way in my opinion. So while yes, I agree it's over braked, I do not think it's far off the Alphys Air. I don't think it's far off the Alphys Air actually at all. I think the Alphys Air is very overbraked in itself. If we're calling this reel overbraked, I want to call the Alphys Air slightly overbraked. Like the Gekka Bijan, not overbraked. Well, I mean, it is kind of, but I'm I'm literally carelessly casting this this thing and I'm get, getting an easy 20 yards pretty much every single time. Like I know I can cast this as hard as I can and probably at 25, 30 yards, but I'm not going to because that's not the point of BFS, you know, so. So with thumbing the spool, I probably just got about 22 yards, 22 yards, I would say. Wow. I am, I am very happy for sure about this reel because I was very, very personally worried that this reel was not going to fit the expectation I kind of had, but it is, it's fitting my expectations, if not a little bit better. One thing I do want to note, guys, is that so far, as far as the smoothness of this reel, I really feel like it's almost necessary to mention because I feel like not many reviews have talked about. Oh, I need to let some of my line out. I had some line overran there. But uh, one thing I feel like that's not talked about is how actually smooth this reel is. I mean, for a casking reel to feel this smooth, it actually makes it gets me super excited for what the next reels that casking is going to come out with. I mean, it, it, it's really great. Honestly, I'm genuinely happy that this reel is as smooth as it is because I, I'm looking forward to what, what casking brings out next besides this reel. I really, really, really think they've started to fine tune what they do at casking for sure. But I mean, this is like two or three on the brake dial. And I would say I'm casting pretty easily. 
I think if I really wanted to, if I really, really wanted to, I could cast this at zero. Let's see. Let's keep going down. Let's let's go down. Okay, we are down one notch. Okay. That was a cast. That was a cast and a half. Definitely cast at one notch down. We're, I think we're like one away from uh, minimum. Okay, we're at minimum. We're at zero breaks. So I didn't really thumb that cast. I did not thumb that cast, I would say, hardly at all. So does that mean good or bad? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think that it, it has its goods and its bads. I think that this reel is ideally meant for lightweight casting for sure. I mean, I just backhand cast it with like literally zero effort and I'm getting the distance I want. Like it, it's, it's not like the braking system is leaving anything to be desired with how much it's doing. And it's not like I'm, I mean, I'm definitely able to do exactly, oh, I just got bit. I cast it on a blow up and I got immediately chomped. Oh, hecker. But I mean, like I said, I literally have zero issue casting what I want at minimum breaks, which take the how you want. Take the how you want. At the end of the day, I do think that this reel, I'm going to personally add new breaks. I'm going to clean the, clean, clean the not breaks, add new bearings. And I'm also going to clean the bearings on this reel and test how that looks. Do I think that anyone sh like has to? I don't think you have to, for sure. You don't have to do anything to this reel out of the box to get what you want out of it. I think that this reel can do a lot out of the box. I think that this reel is very perfectly capable of casting one gram lures right out of the box. So we're probably about to try that. We're gonna try what I think is a 1.4 gram here in a minute, but I just gotta put it on. I'm just kind of in fish mode right now, not so much test mode. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say one thing. You guys know that I'm wanting to grind for y'all because, good lord, it's hot out here. My GoPro overheats like to, like on dates like today, like crazy. All my cameras overheat. Everything overheats. My phone overheats. So you guys better be thankful I'm out here grinding. <laughs> oh, I thought I almost forgot my box. <laughs> All right, guys. We are going to try a 1.4 i want to say future hunter you throw this in the video how much it actually weighs but i want to say that this weighs 1.4 grams with the snap that i'm using so we're going to throw this 132nd ounce soft lock tungsten jig which weighs 0.9 out 0.9 grams and this plastic weighs about 0.4 i'm going to test and see how does that perform we're not going to test it at zero breaks though i'm I, we're definitely not testing that at zero breaks Guys, I don't know if you can see all the fish below me in the water, but there's so many. So we're going to turn up the brakes a couple of notches, up to two, I think. Yeah, up to two. And, oh, wow. So that, I don't think that was over brake, but I also think I cast it too hard. So let's find out if that, <laughs> which, which one that was. Okay. Okay, over braked. I can't tell. I don't know. Hmm. I must that's full tension set. Oh, there's a tree behind me. Oh, that was my rod. Don't like tungsten on the rod. That's bad news. Let's see. Wow. See, okay. If I had to be honest, the 37, oh, I just got bit again. I'm getting hammered. Um, the, the casting a 32nd, it does not feel over bricked. Oh, oh, there's a fish. <laughs> There's a big old gill. As I was saying, <laughs> sweet first fish on the Kestrel. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Good old Florida gills. That's my first fish on the Casking Kestrel Elite. That's super sick. I'm super happy that I caught my first fish on the Casking Kestrel Elite today. I was worried that I honestly was not gonna catch fish, but I've been getting lit up by bluegill everywhere. All right, guys, that was the first fish on my Cash King Cash Relief really BFS. My GoPro overheated, so tough parts there. Uh, it's really hot today, like I was saying, but this is the bait I caught it on. This is the one inch EPF swim Euro Tackle Soft Lock Tungsten Jig. So super excited that I caught a fish on that. I didn't take a picture of it in the fish's mouth, so 
no proof that it actually happened. But as I was saying, with this low weight of a lure, the, the reel does not feel overbraked. I, I know that's weird for people to say, but it does not feel overbraked in this situation. I'm getting chased by so many bluegill right now. Oh my gosh, so many. I mean, I'm getting 20 yard cast and I, and that's just through thumbing. I am on, oh, I'm on, okay, I'm on one. I'm on one right now. And I would say that thumbing it, I'm very comfortable casting this around. This is, it feels very, very rightly tuned for a 30 second. And like, if I put on bearings on this, I feel like I would one, get like maybe one or two yards extra on top of my casting distance currently. But I mean, this is very, comfortable over it's 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 weird you have to figure it out what works for you but i i mean i genuinely feel that this reel is designed for extremely lightweight casting not just a little not like not like two grams not like three grams i mean that one and a half gram range it feels phenomenal for like if you want to throw cd threes like countdown threes or whatever you're throwing floater threes if you're throwing small rapala baits that have like no weight at all to them. This reel feels very capable of doing things like that. I'm getting tore up by bluegill guys. Oh my gosh. Like, I mean, I'm easily casting this 30 second ounce jig. I could probably even cast it further to be honest with you. It's just, I'm trying to rely more on control, less on distance. But I mean, I am genuinely very, very, very satisfied but with the performance of this reel at the moment. It, it's it's way better than I thought it was gonna be, especially for this 30 seconds range. Like I'm, that is at least 50 feet right there. That is at least 50 feet. I could probably tell you exactly how far that is. So if you guys can see, there's a second little point of the grass patch coming out. That's about even with what I just casted. So we're gonna check it on the on the range finder. 14 yards. So. 14 yards times three, that is 42 feet. So almost 50 feet, I was almost right. So I mean, that is just crazy. That was 50 feet for sure. That was further than the last cast. I mean, it casts so flat, so controlled, very comfortable. It's like it takes no effort to really get the cast you want out of this reel. Less about distance, more about control and accuracy. And that to me is what BFS is all about. I, I mean, if this were a Daiwa, if this were Shimano, we'd be saying, oh yeah, that's just Daiwa, that's just Shimano, that's just what it does. And the fact of the matter is, is this is a cast king, guys. This is a cast king. It, it, it's slightly high, lower priced than the other reels in the market right now that can cast this comfortably. I'm casting, as far as compared to the Dark Wolf Ultra, this reel puts it to shame. Like, over breaking, yeah, I'll agree. But the Dark Wolf Fold Ultra felt underbraked in a couple of different ways, I would say, especially with this casting range. The Dark Wolf Ultra is, to me, a two to six gram casting reel. This is 100% a one to four gram casting reel. Very comfortable, very controlled, overbraked, maybe. I, but that means more control to me. To me, I don't like no breaks. I don't like that idea. I don't, I don't like the, I don't, I agree, yes, zero breaks should be in zero breaks, but on the brake dial, it does say minimum braking. That does not mean zero braking. I do want to put that out there. A lot of people like raw fishing, oh, I'm getting lit up out there, guys. Raw fishing has said like, oh yeah, this is zero breaks and it's still over braked to zero breaks. As much as I want to agree with him, and Jimmy does have a great point, he's been reviewing reels a lot longer than I have. So yes, he has a lot more credibility in that department, but I do want to point out, this does not say zero. It's gonna be more averaging in the middle of the reel. I think that after changing the bearings on this reel, it'll average more so in the middle of the reel itself. I think that even the cleaning the bearings are gonna change how this reel casts, as it did with my Alphys Air. My Alphys Air casts very similar to this reel like very similar. Like this feels a lot like it. I'm getting lit, oh my gosh. I mean, it's not over braked in my opinion. It's not, 
to better explain what I mean when I say overbraked as what people are talking about, I feel that it's overbraked higher weights. That makes sense. I, that's this reel is not designed for higher weights. It's just, it's designed for your lower weights, and I think that this reel does awesome at lower weights so far. And granted, I've only cast a 30 second bounce. Let's take it off and let's really challenge this reel. Let's let's put this reel to my favorite test ever. We're gonna switch this off and we're gonna throw the 180th ounce Donkey Tail Junior rig on this reel. I think I should have one in my bag. I might have left it at home, but I do have the necessary components to make another one. Okay, let's see what we got. Here you go. Perfect. Is that a 180th? Yeah, that's a 180th. Guys, this right here is a 180th ounce jig from Yule. If you guys don't know who Yule Fishing is, you haven't watched my channel enough. This jig is perfect for slowing down on the dog days of summer, slowing down in the cold frost of winter. And it weighs point seven grams. So we are now going sub gram. We are going to test how the Kestrel Elite BFS cast 0.7 of a gram. This is for all those people who say, oh, it's not Tremolo, it's not Daiwa. Well, if it casts just as good, who cares? You know, who cares? So we're on the same braking system. It's not bad. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get over braked at all. It's not bad. I do think I could have cast it further. In fact, let's try it. Let's try over braking for a turn. Wow, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop there because you guys see where I'm stuck. I'm stuck on that pad. I am stuck on it. So I'm going to measure how far is that? That's 10 yards. That is 30 feet. If anyone wants to tell me that is not 30 feet, I just measured it. That is 30 feet, 100% 30 feet. It casted a 80th ounce jig farther than my Alphys Air did. Literally, it casted further than my Alphys Air. That is unbelievable. I've casted probably just as far on like really good casts in my Alphys Air, but I backlashed that cast and it casted 30 feet. I just, oh man, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is 30 something feet, guys. That's over 30 feet. My one goal with getting an 80th ounce to cast is to see if I can get it 30 feet or more. If it, if a reel can cast 30 feet or more stock, oh my gosh. I, sorry guys, I know I'm overreacting and over dramatizing in certain ways, but I was, you guys don't understand. I've been watching so many videos about this reel to ensure oh wow it's not over braked though it's not over braked <laughs> i don't care what anyone says this isn't over braked as much as people say i mean yes 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 it's over braked at heavier weights but it's not nearly as over braked as what i saw on people's videos people were saying that this reel was severely over braked and i i simply don't agree i just i would agree but it's wrong I mean, I'm having to thumb pretty hard to like not get backlash. I mean, guys, the fact of the matter is I'm casting it. I mean, I'm one backlashing like crazy. This probably has almost too much line on here to cast an 80th. So I do want to point that out as well. I have this set to exactly what I use on my Alpha Air, I actually just went on my phone and checked because I had a video where I actually showed what I used one time um, and I never actually like posted or anything, but I just went and checked. I casted an 80th ounce on the same exact brake settings I have this reel set on right now on my Alpha. This, I think I had more line on my Kestrel right now, but <laughs> wow, 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 wow. It, it's, it's casting just as good as my Alpha. I want to say that that's wrong and that that shouldn't be a thing, but you guys are here seeing it on video, on video. That's 25 feet easy. 
that's an easy 25 feet maybe even less but i'm honestly spot casting now i'm spot casting with the 80th ounce oh my fish wow 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 oh got one let's go guys big old gill oh oh my god that's a giant gill oh my gosh that guy dude stop flipping dude holy crap let's see how so just to give you an idea is the Janko fishing handle is nine and a half inches long and that fish is nine and a half inches as well let's freaking go guys so i've caught a fish now on the 32nd ounce from i spot casted this fish guys i hope that was on video i really hope that was on video that was on the 180th ounce mule jig with a snap that's a 0.7 gram lure that i accurately casted at this fish which by the way i can lip that fish oh she's not happy or he i think that's a he i'm texting jimmy and amir from bay Fitness empire on our group chat right now about just how i'm not seeing the same issues as everyone else has with the kestrel i mean i will admit everyone else i mean it's a little overbraked i will agree it is slightly overbraked but it is not nearly overbraked is what people have said for me oh, now it's now it's not enough breaking right now <laughs> i need to pull out my line but just wow i mean i am just kind of impressed i mean it's casting just as good as my freaking alphas air like genuinely speaking and if this is overbraked does that mean my alphas air is overbraked possibly i would say maybe it is maybe that's my fault i don't know what maybe the situation is but i mean this is it feels just as good as my officer i mean alpha's air in this reel to me are equivalent i'm just not seeing the same issues that people have seen we just put on a little 1 16th ounce jig head with a little paddle tail from amazon uh, two inch paddle tail so if i had to guess this jig probably weighs 2.5 to 2.8 grams i don't know exactly how much the snap doesn't add hardly anything in weight so we're gonna find out how this performs i think this is going to cast it quite easily super excited to see so let's call that in between the third and fourth eye up okay so that's where it landed. That's after I take some of the, the overrun out. We're letting it sink. So we just started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25. So about 25 and a quarter. 25 and a quarter turns. We got 25.25. So 25.25 times 29.1. 734, 775. Divide that by 12. We have a 61 foot cast, otherwise known as 20 yards very 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 comfortably like i would say that this reel is 100 percent very much similar to my alpha air very exciting very nice but we've casted all these weights but we haven't tested a little heavier weight so now let's give a cast on over to an eighth ounce jig let's see how an eighth casts i kind of want to know all right, guys, we're going to cast this Z Viber. This is a Euro Tackle Z Viber. It's not a blade bait. I don't know why people think that's a blade blade. Blade bait. Wow, that was no thumb at all on three. So we're going to measure that. That is, this is what the handle was at. So we're going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 
So 31, 32, I would say 32, because I did complete a full rotation. So 32 spins of the reel, 32 times 29.1 equals 931 inches. So divide that by 12, we just got an 80 foot cast like that. Super easy. There we go, guys. Oh, another gill. We're just having a gill day, I think, out of here. It's a mainly a bluegill day, that is for sure. Mainly a bluegill day, for sure. So that's like a sunfish, it's very orange. I know there's some red breasts that live like literally right here on this lake. So pretty cool to catch some hybrids. But we caught that fish on the 132nd ounce soft locked Euro tackle tungsten jig. Very comfortably casting, like literally this is like so far, well besides that backlash I just had, um, this is probably so far my favorite, like, <laughs> reel to throw a 30 seconds on. Like, it just feels so comfortable. Heck. See, as I say that, you know, I deserve that, honestly. I deserve it. Just with the comfort of casting a 30 second, I think this is probably easily my favorite reel to cast a 30 seconds on right now. I mean, you guys saw how that cast just went out. It was completely flat. There was no arch to it. It didn't get over braked. And it's definitely not in that ballpark. But I mean, like genuinely speaking guys, I think this might be my new like, I'm gonna have two panfish setups for sure. Just cause I love having panfish setups. But I mean, getting really good casts. I mean, just that cast right there, no backlash. Didn't feel over braked. Decent distance, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I probably could have got a little bit better distance. Uh, yeah. Don't know. I just know it feels comfortable to cast this. I think I'm probably gonna wrap it up here in a minute. I've been out for two hours just fishing around. I've still got to upload the unboxing video of this bad boy right here, but I won't lie. I am happy. I'm satisfied with the reel. Is it over -braked? A little bit, very slightly. I will say that this is just a tad over -braked. Does that make it completely unusable? Does it make it out of the box? One of the worst reels to ever come out and be a fester break? No. I think that severely people have been over dramatic about this reel. I mean, people are saying, oh, this reel out of the box is just not ready. Cast King shouldn't have released it. They shouldn't have done this to the BFS community. We've been excited for this reel. Like, people whine way too much. I will not lie to you guys. People will whine about everything. But genuinely speaking, I'm loving using this reel for even a 30 second bounce. I mean, I'm getting the distance I want, getting the capability I want, I'm getting the control we want. Simply put, I love how this reel feels. I love how this reel feels, and I do think that it's a very, a very, very, very justifiable option, especially in the BFS game right now. And if you're looking at getting a Corrado BFS or a Scorpion BFS, SLX BFS, and then swapping out the spools, I'm gonna be here to tell you to say, don't do that. Personally, I think that any Shimano under $200 is a waste of money, if you want my honest opinion. In comparison to this reel, or in comparison to the Sorinoria Dark Wolf Ultra, both both reels are better than those, genuinely speaking. So, and this reel casts a 30 second like easy. Well guys, um, my GoPro overheated and died once again, but here is the first bass on the Casking Kestrel. <laughs> All right guys, that's what I caught him on right there. The Euro Tackle, EPF Swim, and 1 30 second ounce. It's pretty good so far, like honestly speaking, I'm very happy with the reel. I'm gonna give you guys a little wrap up here in a minute, but I think that was the last fish for me today. That was a good fish to wrap it up on. Very good fish. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up for the day. I'm gonna walk away from my truck because it's on right now, but we uh, just got done on the water with the Cash King Kestrel, and let me say, guys, I'm impressed. Like, genuinely speaking, I'm impressed. Everything is so loud right now. Overall, guys, I am very impressed by the Casking Kestrel. I mean, I think it's honestly gotta be my new favorite reel for casting 132nd ounce jigs. I think that this, the pair, the rod that is paired with the Jenko Double Down really completes it too, because this reel really dials it in for those one to three gram range lures. 
and you don't have to worry about like severely no braking at all. Because I definitely think that this reel came out a little over braked, but I don't feel like it's over braked in the sense that people consider it to be. People are too busy naysaying about this reel simply because it's casking. I really, it's, it's the thing that really bothers me is the BFS community overall has disapproved of this reel. Why? I don't know. Simply because there's a K in front of the name. That's literally why. If you really want to ask me why, that's it. Like they said that this, this reel isn't usable, it's not friendly, it's not capable of being used. But genuinely speaking, I love it. I think it's great. I'm throwing a 1 32nd ounce jig 25, 30 yards with ease. Like not where I'm casting it and no thumb. I'm talking about with ease in the way that I'm using my thumb and still getting great controlled flat casts. So just out of the box this reel has been very impressive and i'm super excited to see what else i can get in on it but for bluegill and bass fishing it's been phenomenal casting those one inch epf swims it's been great so i can't wait to put more in more time in with this reel to really give people my honest and full opinion but so far after just day one of using it i'm very impressed it's a 132nd ounce caster for sure and i'm super excited because one thing i've kind of wanted is a reel that's better at casting 132nd ounce jigs and this reel completely does it. So I'm super excited to see what else we can get into with this reel, but uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because it's hot out here and I need some water. So if you guys wanna go pick up this reel at Bait Finesse Empire, I'll leave a link down below. And if you guys have any questions about this reel, and if you think, what is my rating so far day one on this reel, I'm gonna have to give it, I'm gonna have to get it a, give it an eight and a half out of 10 so far. I think, Honestly, I'm stuck between eight and a half and nine out of 10. A 10 out of 10 reel or almost 10 out of 10 reel for me is the Gekka Bijan. But so far, this is an eight and a half to nine out of 10 reel. And the Daiwa Alpha's Air to me is an 8.0 to eight and a half 10 out of 10 reel to me. So just to give you an idea, I think this reel is, if not the same, if not better than the Alpha's Air in certain senses. I think it's lighter casting and all that junk, whatnot, but I'm super excited and I can't wait to do more with this reel. I think I'm done talking because uh, it's hot. But let's get on and move on. If you guys want to pick up this reel, like I said, down in the description below, Bayfinesse Empire. And as usual, guys, remember, fish bear me. <laughs>